All right, so in this tutorial, we'll be looking at another method for generating random samples, and this is the acceptance rejection method. So in this example, we want to use the acceptance rejection technique to simulate a complete algorithm for 1,000 samples from the target distribution, which is given to be a beta distribution, um, with the density following density function by first generating 5,000 samples from the proposed distribution with density function given below, right? g of x equal to this. So how do we do this in R? Um, before we, we, we proceed to R Studio to um, simulate this density function, we first of all need to know how the algorithm works theoretically. So for the steps for computing the acceptance rejection method, we find a random variable y with density g satisfying this condition for all t such that the density function is greater than zero. Then we provide a method to generate the random variable y. For each random variable required, we generate a random y from the distribution with density g. Then we generate a random u from the uniform distribution. If u is less than this expression, we accept y and deliver x is equal to y. Otherwise, we reject y and repeat from step two. This may seem very confusing, but I'm gonna break it down as we proceed to how to learn how to do this. Um, before we can actually solve the problem at hand, we, we have to make use of the inverse method approach so since we cannot simulate directly from the we cannot get um, the inverse function from the target distribution um, directly there's the need for us to get a proposed distribution so that we can get the inverse function from then we can actually which is going to help us to simulate from the target distribution so to proceed we first of all derive the inverse function from the proposed distribution as follows so we integrate to get this then we equate z to be equal to that, right? From the inverse method approach that we have already looked at. So once we equate z to this, we make x the subject so that we can get the inverse transform or the inverse uh, the inverse function, right? Once we get the inverse function, uh, I think we are good to go. So z is between zero and one. That's it's from a uniform distribution, right? So let's jump into R and see how to do this. So first we plot the plot the density or the target uh, function. We want to look at how this um, function looks like and how the simulation is going to look like. So let's see that curve. We have um, six times one minus x right six times x times one minus x from zero to one right that was the domain that was given for the density function so let's run this so yeah here's the graph so basically this is the density function want to simulate from this right let me zoom so that you can have a clear view of it so i want to simulate from this density function right I want to simulate from this all right so let's proceed once we know this we have to write a pseudo code for the density function and the proposed function so see the code for density function I'm gonna call this fx right we need x so it was given to be 6 times x times 1 minus x right then I'm going to copy this Right, see the code for the proposed function. Proposed function. T 
2 times 1 minus x right I'm gonna call this g of x so I think we are good to go now before we start with a accept and rejection method algorithm we have to um, pre-specify right pre-specify some parameters right so we need to get from the algorithm um, we have to get um, the constant right C how do we get the C so um, so this is basically how the the density function looks like so we want to um, simulate from this right so first of all let's look at the constant C how do we get the C that's the constant value um, to get a C um, this is how it's going to look like is the maximum of the ratio f of x and g of x right so if we do that we get 3 of x and and the maximum value for this is going to be 3 because um, the, the the domain is 0 to 1 and 1 is the maximum when you put 1 in here you're going to get 3 so that's how we get the constant value right so constant c is 3 right and the next is to look at the number of um, um, is to write a pseudo code for the inverse function that we have right we, ha we also have to get a pseudo code or we have to write a command to execute this inverse function from the proposed distribution so um, let me write it x equal to one minus square root one minus z right don't forget z is coming from a uniform distribution but here we are supposed to first generate five thousand samples right so um so we generate random samples generates 5,000 random samples from the proposed distribution, right? So we have that. We can run this. We can run this. We can run this then we also have to generate u from um we have to generate u from a uniform distribution right so u equal to r unif which is also going to be 5000 from the question right so generate 5000 there are 5000 random samples from the uniform distribution right so you can run this so once you have pre-specified pre this um, parameters I think we are good to start with a city code set up the city code set up the city code for the asset reject method so um, you have to get a counter k equal to 1 we also need um, a container for the accepted samples so accept um, say con so container for accepted samples 
right so from here we can then use um, right algorithm so we are going to make use of the while loop f um, for 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 this algorithm so while our counter is less than or equal to 5000 and the accepted samples the length um, the length of the accepted samples is less than 1000 right um, once this is true if this condition hold test u should be equal to u k then test x should be equal to um, f of x right sample from this so we're going to sample from the uniform distribution I sample k from uniform distribution right then sample k from so this basic I'm gonna write let me finish so I'm basically doing this step this step so I've already specified this so I'm writing an expression or a command to execute this. So I'm done with the f of the, f the numerator. I'm now I'm going to write for the denominator. So divided by divided by um, the constant um, the constant c times g of x let me sample from it so right so I'm gonna sample from this expression and then um, we can use the if statement right so if test u is less than text x right um we accept and we put that sample inside we, we we include that particular um sample in the accepted container right so we accept and execute this then we can count k okay, should be equal to k plus one k equal to k plus one right so I think we should be good to go so I'm gonna run this run this oh, f of x not found let's first run this to run okay so let's run this okay so we are good to go so let's look at the histogram histogram of accepted samples it should um resemble this right so i'm gonna use hist accept and class should be 30 or let's say 50 it's okay then um we can also look at the density so i'm gonna use probability should be true right i can also give some color let's make this green and let's say main let me write some herding for it i 
title for the plot, so a histogram of accepted samples, right? So let's run this. I'm gonna run this. Right, so I think let me, let me change this to 30. The number of classes doesn't make it look nicer. Let's look at this. Mm, this is okay. Right, so um, let me draw the density curve on this plot. So I'm going to use y equal to sequence from 0 to 1, right, 0 to 1, and by 1%, lines, I'm going to use y, 6 times y times 1 minus y, right, so I'm going to run, let me color it, color, blue, and the line width should be equal to two. So let's see. Right. So you can see the majority of the samples are within this curve, which means that you have actually simulated um, from this um, density function that was given to us. So with the proposed distribution, we are able to get a very nice simulation work done. So I um, think we are good to go. So this is um, how to simulate um, random samples using the acceptance rejection method in R. Thank you for watching.